Hello, friends. Barky J. Dog here with another movie review. This time we're looking at a weird little picture from 1980 called Altered States. Now, I'd heard of this picture, but I never saw it until recently, and I found it to be kind of interesting. Altered States is William Hurt's debut, Drew Barrymore's too. She plays a kid. It's a sci-fi film, sort of, with a few dashes of horror. Not too much, though. The movie is about Dr. William Jessup, a guy who, by his own admission, is kind of a weirdo. Today, we'd say he was like Benedict Cumberbund's Sherlock Holmes, a high-functioning guy on the spectrum. Anyway, he's a doctor who is studying schizophrenia and thinks maybe people who suffer from it are actually tapping into some sort of race memories. He becomes obsessed with this idea and makes it his field of study. To that end, our hero spends time in a sensory deprivation tank in order to try and expand his mind and explore his inner consciousness so he can tap into this stuff too. The sensory deprivation tank, also known as an isolation tank or a float tank, was developed in 1954 by a neuroscientist named John Lilly. It was kind of like a hot tub with a cover over it. Inside this cabinet, there's about a foot or so of heavily salted water. You uh, climb in this thing, close the door, and all sound and light are cut off. You just sort of lay there and float and relax and meditate. So these were a real thing used for psychological and medical research, as well as muscular therapy and stuff like that. They really took off in the 1970s, and that's the era I associate them with. It was a big fad. Well, I don't know if people back in the 70s used them when they were high, but if they bought one of these things, they must have been high a lot of the time to begin with. The fad seemed to come and go, like most fads, but I was surprised to learn they're still a thing today. You can rent time in one, or even buy one. At 70 bucks an hour, or 10 grand to buy your own, it seems like you could find other, better ways to spend that money. But some people swear by them. They use them to disconnect from the constant bombardment of stimuli in the modern world. Focus on relaxation and all of that. Some say their thoughts become more vivid. So there you go. Anyway, Jessup learns about this tribe in Mexico that can experience shared visions. So he goes there and participates in a ceremony that involves taking some mushroom dope. He has a wild psychedelic vision and takes a sample of the mushroom dope home to make further tests. But he has to worry that, like most drugs, it has limits and can become toxic over time. So he starts using an old sensory deprivation tank he finds at the university where he works. He hopes this will allow him to finally break through the barriers, keeping him from experiencing the full effects so he can tap into cosmic energy or whatever. In his experiments, he regresses in time and space, transforms into a caveman, and starts monkeying around, and experiences different states of consciousness, hence the title, Altered States. 
the script here is pretty dense, but takes the story and the material and the characters seriously. The special effects are trippy and wild, especially in the final experiment where Jessup releases cosmic space-time energy. It's too bad this picture didn't come out a few years earlier, when all of the pseudoscience stuff was still in full flower. Crystal power, astral projection, ancient astronauts, ESP, pyramid power, and all of that were big things. It's a movie made for the mid to late 70s that didn't come out until 1980 when most people were moving on from that junk. It feels a little like one of those 70s movies akin to Demon Seed or The Stepford Wives or Westworld. Movies showing the blandness of everyday life with a dash of sci-fi that eventually takes a hard right turn into weirdness. Where man takes one step too far and faces forces he didn't count on. For the kind of movie it is, or wants to be, the directing is quite good. Characters have a naturalistic way of talking, where they interrupt or try to speak over each other during arguments, and for all the verbose prattling about consciousness, it seems to work. You might recognize Bob Balaban, who played Dr. Chandra in the sequel to 2001, 2010. And Blair Brown plays Jessup's concerned wife and fellow accommodation. And Jessup's guide in Mexico is played by Theo Fenglis. He was in soap operas and other stuff, but I remember him best from the 1980s return of the Mission Impossible TV series. Nice to see him here. But my favorite character is played by Charles Haid. He's one of the scientists reluctantly helping Jessup, and he gets mad at one point and starts rattling off all of his professional credentials. <laughs> it's great. Oh, oh, and look fast for John Larroquette as an x-ray technician. A big problem with the picture is that it doesn't explain how a guy taking mushroom dope and floating in a tank can physically transform into a caveman, let alone how he can go through time or tap into and release cosmic energy from the space-time continuum. It makes no sense. Can anybody do this, or is it just him? Looks like lots of these Mexican Indians are taking the mushroom dope. If they got high and went for a swim, would they unlock space-time energy? The movie doesn't say, so it leaves a lot on the table. It's too bad, because Altered States has a lot to offer. No doubt audiences at the time, even the ones who were high on weed, were probably left scratching their heads by the end of it. The picture did make money, not much, but it did make money, so it wasn't a flop, but it is a bit dated. I enjoyed the picture though. I give it two and a half paws. You can find Altered States on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and digitally on Amazon Prime. Well, that's about it for this one. I'll be back soon with another video. In the meantime, you take care of yourselves, okay? And don't take any mushroom dope. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>